rattling on. Yeah, she was. Our next guest are equally as amazing. Please welcome Isabel Lantier and Eve Cote. As you can see, they gave birth to a child, and after they gave birth, Isabel put on some weight that was kind of a little bit odd. And also Beatrice, who is here with us, who is Isabel's interpreter. Now, Beatrice, uh, thank you all for being on the show. I should have come on. Isabel, we showed pictures of you um, before you came out. And I just have to ask, what's, what size were you bust-wise before you became pregnant? Before you became pregnant, I was 34. 34. And what size were you after you gave birth? 52 and a half. 52. And... <laughs> And I well, know that, Eve, you had to make a special bra for your wife to wear. Is that correct? Oui, oui. Euh, C'est l'hôpital qui a commencé à faire le, son, son affaire. Là. Uh -huh. Moi, dans la maison, j'ai fait un sport pour le tenir en l'air parce que ça coûtait toujours son, son ventre. Ça peut être dangereux pour son bébé. Uh, they started, they started um, making a bra at the hospital. But it was not it was not strong enough. So he had to find a way of like having, you know, like uh, something to, to carry on the shoulders because it was not safe for the baby. Safe. They ah. had something like, you know, like a strap, okay? But then he <laughs> Isabel Isabel's even laughing at this too, because could could we ask you to just stand up? You're such a small lady. Could you just stand up for us so we can and open <laughs> well, and the reason why I say that is because is this this is amazing. And this happened right and you're a very small girl. This happened during the pregnancy. Was it like an inch at a time? <laughs> it grew day it grew day to day. day Every to day. day, yeah. Well, Eve, what did you think of this? <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, wait, I, I don't do Canadian too well, but I... Sac les bleus! I don't know. That's, that's, that's a cartoon, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> 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 what did you think of this? It's hard. It's hard to explain what he felt at that time. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever it was, he felt a lot of. Right? <laughs> so, <laughs> I, did I say that? I said that. <laughs> All right, okay, I'm sorry. Bap, I just hit myself. Bad hose. I know that this was a medical disorder, though. Is that correct? Yeah. And what have the doctors been able to do for you to, to help solve this problem? D'après eux, ça serait mes hormones. Mais euh, j'arrivais dans le bureau, il disait, hey, ça n'a pas d'allure, je sais pas ce que t'as. Ça sounds really good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sounds great. No. Uh, the doctors, uh, as an, uh, some kind of explanation to that, they said their hormonal system just went crazy. So now they have recommended that you do not have any more children. Is that correct? You could like explode <laughs> at one point. <laughs> Ils m'ont dit que ça peut revenir. Uh -huh. Je vais me faire opérer le 19 mars. Là. Uh -huh. Ils m'ont dit que ça peut revenir, vu que c'est les hormones. Mais, mais qu'ils m'opèrent, ils vont analyser ce que j'ai dans les seins. Puis... Yeah. Les hormones... Attends, attends, je vais juste faire... C'est difficile pour elle. Elle doit être comme... Ils ont dit que si elle allait avoir un autre enfant, ça pourrait se passer de nouveau. Elle va avoir une surgerie pendant trois semaines. Mais ils ont dit que parce que c'est lié à son système hormonal, system, it could happen again if she gets pregnant. And, but while they're going to do the operation, they're going to analyze what happened and find out about it. And see if they can correct it before she has mm -hmm. another child. Yeah. Okay, well, let's, I think we have a picture of, your, of Michelle, your son, mm -hmm. right? So we'll run that up, and we're going to take a little break. <laughs> we'll take a little break, and when we come back, we'll see if we can get to the bottom of these amazing pregnancies. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> 